there, I'm and I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. And E3 has dropped a bunch of trailers for us to watch, and you know what? Sometimes it's not always what you expect. So this one, Vanessa has no clue what this actually is. I don't. All I know is what it's about. Okay. And the primary character, at least the primary actor in this okay. show. <laughs> So, show. show. Uh, E3, dabbling into TV shows, but you know what? It's kind of weird because uh, they're there for games, not TV shows, so I don't know how well that went over. But I did see this pop up on Twitter, and... Uh, I, so um, this is not a game. This is a show. It's not a game, but it's very much in the vein of E3 and gaming. Okay. So, we are going to take a look at the first trailer for Mythic Quest. What is Mythic Quest? Some may say it's just a video game. When it first debuted, MQ was hailed as a masterpiece. Now played in 20 different countries on six continents, it's the biggest massive multiplayer role-playing game of all time. <laughs> and today, they find themselves on the precipice of their first major expansion, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. And it all falls on the shoulders of one man, creative director Iron Grimm. When we think about cultural <laughs> customs, we think Oh my god, ancient, it's Mac! Star Wars, <laughs> oh my god! And our that industry beard. dwarfs the traditional entertainment business. Oh so when gosh. we think about legends, why not think Mythic Quest? <laughs> True indeed. And when we think of visionary world-building artists, <laughs> instead of just Spielberg, Lucas, and Cameron, why not think Grimm? <laughs> <laughs> I I I'm sorry, I, I gotta stop. What is this? Danny Pudi! It's, it's a commercial for you. It's still going. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh my got David Hornsby. This is insane. You're kidding. I think it's brilliant. I didn't even realize oh F. Murray God. Abraham was sitting right there. <laughs> what? Oh no. Shipping up to Boston. Alright, where are the Patriots? GTE and Snyder. Yeah. So, yes, Mythic Quest. Uh, so, yeah, on Twitter I saw a picture of him with the beard, and then it said Mythic Quest new show. Interesting. Uh, Where is it going to be? Apparently it's airing on Apple Plus. Oh, uh, okay, so Apple's yeah. version. I got it. Okay. So, I mean, it, it's fine. They need to have content. Um, I'm curious, are they going to are they gonna go balls to the wall and allow cursing and allow more, you know, raunchy storylines? More um, adult. Yeah, more adult themed because, I mean, otherwise it's just going to end up being, you know, kind of a, a, a lame workplace comedy. Um, but granted, you've got David Hornsby, who's Rickety Cricket yeah. uh, on Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and then Danny Pudi, which we've been missing for quite some time. Right. I mean, what was it? Uh, Powerless was the last thing I saw him on, but I mean, he needs to get into another good quality ensemble comedy. Right. And I mean, like, if they can kind of like harness the the feel that was. Grandma's Boy? Sure, yeah. Then, yeah, because I love Grandma's Boy. I think that's uh -huh. hilarious. So if they can kind of make that a little bit, but do their own thing, then right. it should be interesting. Mythic Quest. <laughs> <laughs> At first I was like, wait, is that a real Is that a real game? Am I missing right? something? Well, because they had even like Ubisoft was like projected on the ground too so it's like they're making it as in real world as they can right uh but at the same time like i, I want to play the game what is it raven's banquet i mean it's ridiculous because i want him to be ridiculous i want him to be like a jp in grandma's boy is that like civilization a savant i don't know it's it's obvious it's more like world of warcraft that but is. Um, all in all, yeah, I'm excited and I want to see more before I get more excited for right. Mythic Quest. So thank you for watching our reaction to the new trailer for Mythic Quest. Yeah, what did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below your 
you even gonna watch it on Apple Plus? Is that a thing? Or uh, are you gonna end up going more nefarious ways to get it? Um, but other than that, let us know what you're gonna do down in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Skype. All the social networking. Gin joints, you know where they are. Kicking to the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon, gets us where we need to go. Check out the other E3 reactions that we did for the trailer's release, and we've got more coming. So thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. The party is over. Bye. Bye.